And the federal government has issued a warning to all illegal importers of frozen fish through the land borders to desist from such or face five years imprisonment. The Minister of State for Agriculture, Mr. Heineken Lukwobiri, who gave the warning during a news conference in Abuja, disclosed that the government is setting up a task force to effectively clamp down on smugglers and their products in cold rooms across the country. The demand for fish in Nigeria, currently pegged at 3.2 million metric tons, is far above the supply of 2.1 million, leaving a deficit of 1.9 million metric tons by the minister. But the minister has assured that the government is up upscaling local production to discourage smuggling. We'll go around the different cold rooms. Any cold room that will find this, like what Custom is doing to rice, we will go to the cold rooms where these people have been able to bring. So even if you have been able to beat the security agencies to bring it into the country, we'll locate you up to your own, you know, cold room, and then seal up your cold room, ensure that you pay the 250000 you know, fine, because laws are meant to be paid, and not for, you know, just for the sake of making laws. All those involved, all those who are colluding and aiding and abating, you know, in these nefarious activities to so stop fought with or face the full rot of the law. Last year we were located, you know, between 500 or 800,000 metric tons, you know. But before we came, it used to be over 2 million metric tons. But in order to encourage local production, you know, we said that we're not going to give, you know, very huge, you know, uh, quota, you know, for fish uh, importation. And we are working, you know, uh, in collaboration with the Central Bank of Nigeria, you know, who also uh, discussed with us to, leave, to even determine the quantum that, you know, that should be allocated. And we are collaborating, you know, with um, other countries in the Gulf of Guinea, you know, to, uh, uh, to check illegal and unregulated, you know, fishing, which results in a lot of security issues.